What up guys, it's your boy Push to Start and we are back with an early upload today as it's not every day that you can say you're challenging a current Formula 1 driver. Now in the background as you can see we are running a Super Formula 19. If you haven't guessed by now, my favourite car to run in GT Sport as per our Sunday Funday playlist. Now you may be wondering what's so special about this video. So, a couple of days ago Esteban Ocon, yes, as in the current Alpine slash Renault Formula 1 driver, actually took part in a daily race on GT Sport Online. Now there are several videos already up for this from the 20 drivers that actually participated in that event. And to be fair, Esteban actually took pole. Now I'm sure you guys can see where I'm going to be going with this. Um, time trial and VR. Now I had to do a little bit of digging just to find the settings or the um, restrictions that were used on the uh, on the day. And a great little website called GT Planet, I don't know if you've heard of it, actually managed to find just a bit of background on what settings were um, restricted to in that lobby. And as you can see on screen, the compounds were a medium and a racing soft. So again, guys, this will be in VR. I have tried to mirror the race lobby as much as possible from the information I could find. What I will do as well, guys, I will put the setup um, towards the end of the video as with all my current videos, just to give you guys that edge and try and make you guys quicker as well. I won't actually run through the qualifying lap and give my inputs as you see with my Sunday Funday videos. So that's enough of me rambling on guys, let's get on with the video and see if we can beat Esteban Ocon's qualifying pole lap time around Suzuka in an SF90.
So guys, there you have it. As you could probably tell from the SpongeBob reference um, towards the end of the VR lap, I was over the moon. Credit where credit is due with this lap time. It wasn't just simply jump in and beat Esteban Ocon. Um, I spent about an hour trying to find the right lines and get back up to speed because this is the first time I've jumped in an SF19 since my last upload of my Sunday Funday playlist. I think I was about November. So I had to get up to speed really, really quick. And actually, as you can see on screen at the moment, I actually beat I spent Occam's time by just over two tenths. Now again, what I will do for you guys is I will let the setup play out so you can have this setup and try and beat not only my time, breast the man's time as well. What I would love guys is for you to like, share, sub um, for this video because I would love for S man to actually watch this lap time and if he can, well he can't really, can he? He can't really give me points to beat him. Um, <laughs> but uh, it would be amazing if he could actually see this video um, I am very 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 proud of it again it did take me a while about an hour to actually beat that lap time um, in VR and again credit where credit is due it wasn't an easy lap time to beat I have to give him that it wasn't easy at all but guys hopefully you are enjoying this content that I am pushing out for you and I am glad that I've got this up for you today because it, it was a quick upload and a quick edit um, Esteban, if you by some miracle actually watch this video and want any pointers, just let me know. Drop me a DM. Obviously, I'm kidding, buddy. You do it for real, whereas this is just sim racing. But as always, guys, if you like this content that I'm pushing out for you, could you please leave me a like, comment, and sub because it really, really does help. Um, our last couple of videos have done quite well at Le Mans. Um, I have got a couple more lined up. Um, next video, I believe, is Brands Hatch. So just make sure you hit that bell for me so you are notified on the next upload. Guys, you know the job by now, as always. Peace out, and I'll see you on the next one.